What's going on everyone? Mike back, talking some Ghostbusters. So the Ghostbuster movie comes out in less than a week here in the United States, and premieres have already taken place. Critics have had a chance to screen the movie. They had an embargo in place, which has just been lifted, so I want to check them out. I'm going to watch the reviews and react for you. Um, there have been a few early reviews from just some fans that I guess saw it, and a couple were negative and a couple were positive, so it's kind of mixed. Uh, so I want to see what some of the big people have to say. First one here, uh, John Campia, who I really respect. I really uh, like his opinion. Um, I respect his opinion, I should say, and I really enjoy a lot of his work. I enjoy watching his videos. So here's his review of Ghostbusters, and uh, I'm going to give it a watch now and let you know uh, what he says. You guys can watch with me. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Hey guys, I'm John Campy, and thanks for joining me for my quick review of the brand new Ghostbusters. Now, of course, as you all know, the new Ghostbusters is an all-female cast with Kristen Wiig, uh, Melissa McCarthy, Leslie Jones, Kate McKinnon, and it's an understatement to say that the that marketing campaign for. for this movie has been abysmal. Just well awful. Said. I mean, really, Terrible everybody I've talked campaign. to about Terrible. their anticipation for this movie has been, eh, but I'm holding out hope because I really like the director. And, uh, of course, Feig is, a, Feig is a great director, so people have been kind of holding out hope for that. But, really, this has been terrible trailers, terrible television clips. It's just looked abysmal. Now, okay. let's get into actually looking at the film. My number one priority when going into what is supposed to be a comedy is... Does it make me laugh? We've talked about that before, where we judge comedies on a different level. Really, the first and foremost thing we look for is, is the funniness there? Is the humor there? Do we chuckle? Do we smile? Do we laugh out loud? That's the most important thing. I did not thing. laugh you can the get just about everything else all, wrong really. in a comedy. If it makes you laugh, clips, you'll forget just much. about everything. And I gotta say, guess what, guys? I laughed. I laughed through Ghostbusters. And I wasn't laughing at the Ghostbusters. <laughs> I was laughing along with the movie. I thought it was incredibly sharp, incredibly witty. You know, that big potential that some of us had uh, that we saw in the movie coming into it was, look, you've got these four fantastic comedian, uh, female comedians in this who you just got to believe they can bring something really special. And I personally found watching this movie right from the opening scene, because there's this opening scene, much like in the original Ghostbusters, that opening scene with the librarian. There's an opening scene in this movie that is much like that, except it happens in kind of a museum. But right from that opening scene, I found myself smiling and giggling and laughing and had a good time. You know what? I was a little bit worried that Leslie Jones, because everything they've showed of Leslie Jones in the trailer has kind of been one note, and I was afraid that that one note might get tiring throughout the film. But she evolves as a character in the movie, and she makes me laugh. Kate McKinnon basically steals the movie. I mean, not as if, like, outright stole, as if she completely overshot everybody else. That's not true. But she was the biggest pleasant surprise. Her character was the biggest pleasant surprise in this movie. Very charming and funny and witty. And, of course, Melissa McCarthy brought it. Kristen Wiig brought it. And it just worked on that level. And I even found the story, like, with who the villain was and all that kind of stuff, and I won't go into spoiler territory, I thought the story kind of worked, too. And I got to say this, too. The end credits, not the end credit scene, but the actual credits themselves that roll. Sometimes movies will do something a little bit creative for the first 20 seconds of credits, then the screen goes black and just white text rolls. Ghostbusters, you're going to want to sit through the entire end credits because they just do something visually and artistically that I thought was really interesting and really cool. And I ended up being really entertained by the end credits themselves, which brings me to the point of Chris Hemsworth. He brought the house down. I thought he was really funny in the movie. Now, sometimes I, it went a little bit too far with how Every dumb the I've character is. Because he plays, worth, if you didn't uh, catch on from the trailers, he plays kind of a dumb character. And sometimes they go a little bit too far with how dumb he's supposed to be. But that aside, uh, some of the biggest laughs in the film, for me personally, came from him. But it's not all sunshine and roses for Ghostbusters. I want to talk about the one big major problem with this film that made me end up coming out of Ghostbusters going, you know what? I liked Ghostbusters. I liked it. I had a good time. I laughed. But I would have come out of this movie loving this movie if it wasn't for this big, huge, glaring, train, bus wreck of a problem that kept happening every 15 minutes. And here's the problem. Cameos. I'm not talking about just when a fit, like Bill Murray does a cameo. We've known that forever. I'm not just talking about when Bill Murray comes walking in. I'm talking about, I swear to God, Every 15 
freaking damn minutes in this movie, it's like the filmmakers and Ivan Reitman had to go, don't forget, guys, there was an original, and the original was classic, because they had to throw at us some sort of cameo, whether it was a cameo of a piece of music or a cameo of a piece of art or a cameo of a creature or a cameo of an actor I, or a cameo of a joke. I swear to God, every 10 to 15 minutes, they were like, wait a minute, guys, we've gone like 10 minutes without referencing the greatness of the original film. Let's throw in another cameo. I swear to God, there had to be like 20 or 30 cameos in this movie. And it started to drive me bonkers. And it was, all the cameos were so forced fed and forced down your throat. It's almost like the executives of this movie, and I, I probably blame Reitman, who is a genius. I love Ivan Reitman, but it felt like it's like they couldn't let this movie be its own movie. They had to let you feel like this was just uh, an honor piece to the original film. Look, I get it. Pay homage to the original film. Throw in one or two cameos to pay homage to the original film, but then let this movie be its own movie. Because every time one of these cameos came up, and I remember I told you they just rammed them down your throat, the movie Sounds stopped. They overdid it with the cameras. They had to stop the movie, whatever momentum they had going, they had to stop and say, hey, everybody, look, it's Dan Aykroyd. Hey, everybody, look. It's it's like almost every surviving actor from, except for uh, Rick Moranis, unfortunately, every surviving actor had to have their own cameo. And like this obviously saw in the trailer, Slimer had to have a cameo. And they had to make jokes about the, the designs. And they had to make jokes. It's just, I swear to God, it started driving me insanely bonkers. And if it wasn't for the fact that the, when the movie was allowed to be its own movie, that it made me laugh so much, I would have walked out hating this movie and really pissed off at this movie. As it is, I'm already kind of pissed off at it because I know while I liked the movie, I would have, I think I would have loved the movie if it wasn't for that. So anyway, my score out of 10, understanding it probably pr would have come in around eight or 8.5, my score for the 10 still comes out being, for me, a positive review at a 6.5 out of 10 for me. I thought the humor worked. I thought the actresses had great chemistry together. I thought Chris Hemsworth brought a nice little additional layer to it, and the humor just worked. And for me, that's the most important thing. And there is an end credit scene, and minor spoiler alert, it involves a cameo, because, but you'll expect it by this point because there's a cameo every 15 minutes. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about Ghostbusters once you have a chance to see it. Make sure you follow me on social media, on Twitter and on Facebook at John Campia, and make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me. That'll do it for me. My name's John Campia. Bye-bye. You guys, if you're not subscribed to John Campia, I'd highly recommend looking him up. Uh, link down below. Uh, just does a really good job reviewing stuff and giving thoughts and insights into the industry. And he gave it a positive review, so I guess that's encouraging. Uh, as a Ghostbuster fan, um, I'm not excited for this movie. I will watch it. I'm not automatically hating every aspect of it like some people are. And people, Some people have gone out of their way. I mean, I'm generally um, disappointed that it's not going to take place in the same world as the original Ghostbusters. I mean, I think we're in a place in time where every other franchise is doing that and it's working for the most part um you know you've seen it with star wars and creed or slash rocky and you know i mean freaking girl meets world and boy meets world and full and fuller house and all that stuff even tv shows are doing it so i would have preferred to see it connected to the original universe and that automatically i think even if i enjoy this movie i believe personally um i would have enjoyed it more if it was connected I mean, cameos are nice. It sounds, uh, based on what John said, that it's maybe there's too many cameos. But, um, you know, I guess we'll see. I'll see it in a matter of days and be able to judge, judge it for myself. But not a complete disaster, um, but not perfect either. So, all right, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, check out some of my other videos, and I'll talk to you next time. Have a great one.